So let me ask you, did you put this thing together yourself? No, I didn't. So I ordered the dog from online and I've gone in and I've written the coding for the dog. And stand up, um, it can also roll over, so it can roll to its side. We just control it from where they are. And they can go find people and the people can follow them. Yeah. So it has a camera in the front and the two sides, so you're able to see us, that's us over there. Yeah. So yeah. Great discovery. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it can be used for search and rescue for the police and the firefighters if they're not able to enter buildings. Um, it can also be used for personal use. So if someone is, for example, disabled or they can't lift something. It can um, in the future, I wanted to look more into underwater um, applications for robotics because I'm a certified scuba diver and I can Oh, am I that tall? Okay. <laughs> okay. Check my quantu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome so much to Mkenya Marekani. This is a platform where we highlight, educate, inform, you know. Uh, we always say we are telling stories of Kenyans in Seattle, Washington. But today we are in Atlanta. And here we have, who do we have here? Makena Mugambi. Wow. I see you have some serious discovery here. But first of all, let's know who you are first. Um, hi, I'm Makena Mugambi. I was born in Atlanta and I was raised in Kenya. Um, I came back to Atlanta in 2020 to do my high school and I am graduating high school this week actually. So you, 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 went, you went to Kenya to continue with uh, primary education? Uh, yeah, so I went to Kenya when I was like one and I came back in 2020. What? Wow, how is that cultural changes? Um, it's not... And he, it's not that bad because my mom is Kenyan, mm -hmm. so we went there for a community that I could grow up in. So you can be able to speak uh, both Swahili and Gekoyo. Are you Gekoyo or what? No, I'm Kimeru. Oh, Meru. Are you, can you speak both? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. But Swahili? Uh, Swahili too. Yeah. Sawa kabisa? Sawa. Ah, sawa. Hey, nice one. So um, then when you moved to America, what came into your mind to start discovering the, what do you call this? Your new toy. <laughs> uh, so this is Mike, he's a unitary dog. Um, when I came to America, I went to high school and I went to Midtown High School. And from there, they got me into the engineering program. And through that, I was able to discover robotics. So let me ask you, did you put this thing together yourself? No, I didn't. So I ordered the dog from online and I've gone in and I've written the coding for the dog. So the coding is what commands it to do whatever you want to do it? Yes. And, and, and what, what, does, what is the purpose? So it can be used for many different purposes depending on what the user itself wants to do. So it can be used for search and rescue for the police and the firefighters if they're not able to enter buildings. Um, it can also be used for personal use. So if someone is, for example, disabled or they can't lift something, it can lift up to 10 kg. So it can help them by lifting. Um, it also has like a follow me and sensors. So I believe it can also be used for like blind people to be able to map out rooms and to tell, it, tell them that there's something there. Does it have a home button, like if it's lost somewhere? Uh, it doesn't have a home button, but I'm able to see where it is on my phone. Mm. So I can see what it sees, and from that I can determine where it is. So there's an app that is integrated with that? Yes. Or any, any person can uh, get it on their phone? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, let, let me see. Now, uh, is it for sale, or what is it for now, right now? So right now you can buy the dog, but you'll have to code the dog. Um, this specific model is not for sale. It belongs to um, my school, the engineering program I belong to. So I don't have any private access to this. I have to go through my school. So are you like the brand ambassador for these as well? Um, for my school, no. Mm. No. Oh, okay, okay. Now, uh, let, me, let me hear. So uh, what inspired you to start all this, by the way? So ever since I was younger, I had a thing for engineering, just finding out how things worked. And I didn't have that many opportunities in Kenya to foster it. So moving here and joining the engineering program, that really helped me set my mind on, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. Wow, that's amazing. You are so focused then, if that's so. Yes. At your age. <laughs> yes, thanks. So it means you don't play, you just play with such gadgets. 
I I do play, but this is also fun. So. <laughs> How did other kids react to your creativity? Um, there's different reactions. A lot of kids I'm with are also in the engineering program. Um, so it's a lot of us designing different robots, um, building them, finding solutions to different problems, and competing with things like this. So what you are, you're good at is the coding part? Yes. Oh, okay. So what else can you code apart from now this? Do you have other samples of other things you can create? Uh, yes. So my first competition I entered when in my freshman year of high school. Um, that's my Form 1. Um, and me and another team... So we were four of us on the team. We created a robot. Um, his name is Jax. And we, so the team created it and I coded it. We created it for trash pickup. So it would go around sweeping up the trash and then return to a home base and dump the trash and go all over again. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, what do you see like yourself in the future? Um, in, um, in the future, I wanted to look more into underwater um, applications for robotics because I'm a certified scuba diver and I can see the problems that scuba divers can go through every day. Um, so I wanted to build robots that solve those problems. How old did you say you are again? 17. <laughs> Wait, my friend, ask your 17 year old what they can do. Listen, scuba diver, professional, she's satisfied. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. at your age? That's fantastic. So uh, let, let, me, let, let me ask, what's some of the challenges of being you? <laughs> um, I think one of the challenges is my race, for sure. Because <laughs> in, my, in my class, I'm the only colored person in my engineering class. And in the entire course, I think I'm one of two or three. Um, and females, I think I'm also one of two or three females. Do, do, you, experience, do you experience the seclusion like face-to-face? Like -face? face-to-face? Um, yes, for sure, because sometimes another guy can be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, or they don't think that my input would be valid, um, and they can go along with the project without consulting me first. That's intense. So uh, what are some of the good things, the joys of create, being you now? Um, joys are, I can do what I want with robots. If I have a problem, I can work to fix it. I can design a fix for it. And working with others, I can get the tools I need to fix those yeah. problems. Wow, that's fantastic. Where can guys find you now? Um, I'm still going to be based here in Atlanta. So like online? Uh, online. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, my name is Laila Mugambi. Um, so yeah, that's my main thing. Important people stay in LinkedIn. Where are you going to TikTok? I see yourself, by the way, branded all Kenya. Kenya or America? Uh, Kenya, they have better food. <laughs> better what? Food. What else is good in Kenya? Uh, the food's the best thing in Kenya. Um, the people, my friends. Yeah. And what is good in America? The opportunities. Big one. Yeah. You're, go you're going far, I'm telling you. Yes, thank you. Are you ready to meet the president today? Yes. That's fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. Uh, what is the name again? Mike. Mike? Yeah. Mike, okay. Uh. <laughs> so, it will show me a little bit how to use the remote. Oh, oh okay, okay. No problem. Oh, oh, it's fine now? Yeah. It's working now. Let, let's just, just, just do it. We see what you're doing. Just show guys what you're doing. Explain a little bit. I'm just going to move it back and forth. Um, can make it um, like stand up. It's kind of like a greeting kind of thing. And stand up. Um, it can also roll over. So it can roll to its side. <laughs> so it can roll to its side. Um, it can like jump. So yeah. Demonstrate how you can save people from the fire. Okay, so if I had my phone out, um, I'm able to look at what it's looking at. So let's say the cops outside would be able to, from a phone, control it. So they could just control it from where they are. And they can go find people and the people can follow them. Yeah. So it has a camera in the front and the two sides, so you're able to see us, that's us over there. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Great discovery. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So, guys, bye bye. We are watching <laughs> Bye.